Hello world, welcome back and welcome to Parliament. My name is Ross and this is Parleo, my sixth and final project for Harvard CS50 web programming course. Built primarily in Python, JavaScript, Django and Bootstrap, Parleo makes use of the UK Parliament's wonderful API. Kicking things off, here is the app's default index route. This page displays the real-time status of both chambers of Parliament, that's the House of Commons and the House of Lords. We can see here from the text and subtle animation that the House of Lords is currently sitting. When a house moves from not sitting to sitting and vice versa, an alert plays to notify visitors to the website. Common to all pages is a navbar at the top here, linking to the site's various sections and some user handling options. Through use of the Bootstrap framework, the app is fully reactive. You'll see that as the page's width decreases that the components dynamically rearrange. You'll also notice that when we hit a certain breakpoint, the navbar minimises with options hidden behind a simple button. To go beyond our index page and take advantage of the app's full functionality, we need to either register or log in, so let's quickly do that now. Alright, now logged in, we can visit the app's question page. For those unfamiliar, written questions, or PQs, allow MPs and peers to request information from the government. These questions are a really good way of holding the government to account and to put information into the public domain. Using the page's search bar, we can search for a given question. Let's try 777. When we hit submit, all the questions with that number, or at least part of it, are displayed in a table on the left of the page. Each question displays a unique ID, a subject, and the date the question was answered on. When we select a question, a second table appears on the right with additional information. Here is the MP that asked the question, the minister that responded, and the answer itself. If we want to return to a question at a later date, we can simply click the star icon to bookmark the question and click it again to unbookmark it. This question on cycling looks fairly interesting, so let's save it for later. Now when a question has been asked, the government has a set number of days to provide a written response. Although pending a reply, these questions are still uploaded to Parliament's website. You'll see that this question on cancer services is still awaiting a response. By clicking on view, we can see that a reply from the Department of Health and Social Care, that's my old department, is due by the 17th of April. Rather than refreshing the page every 10 minutes, we can click this notify me box here to receive an alert as soon as a response has been received. Talking of notifications, it looks like we have one. By clicking on our username in the navbar, we're taken to our profile page. Here we can see all of our notifications and bookmarked questions, including our recently favourited question on cycling. To view our newly answered question, we can simply select this upward facing arrow, and for bookmarked questions, it's as simple as clicking the view button in blue. The app also gives us the ability to dismiss notifications and to unbookmark our bookmarked questions as shown here, both complete with a simple dissolve animation. So that was the front end of our website, that's the part a user would see. Let's swap over to VS Code now to look at the code powering the application. Behind the scenes we have a fairly typical Django file structure. Here is our Python code that does much of the heavy lifting, a database with associated models, our various HTML pages all extending from a layout file, here's a style sheet containing our CSS code and animations, here's the app static files, so that's the icons, sound effects and images and so on, and finally, here is all of our JavaScript code, populating our tables, keeping our digital clocks ticking, and notifying us when our answers come in. Although we could do more, let's wrap things up for today. This was Parleo, my implementation of CS50W's final project. Thank you so much to everyone that's followed my progress. While my time with CS50W has come to an end, my work on this project and programming in general will continue, so do stay tuned for more. Until then, thanks again. My name is Ross Caron, this was CS50 Web Programming with Python and JavaScript.